you silver and white foxes out there. It's time for over 50, so what? You're older and you're wiser, but there's still lots of fun and adventures to be had. I'm Carol and welcome to your show designed especially for you. Now a lot of you may be visiting loved ones at aged care or living at home alone who are experiencing some memory loss. And this can be quite difficult and challenging to communicate and find things to talk about. Well, today we meet Emma Watts from the Daisy Chain and she's developed a fabulous product to help you with this, which even supports the Dementia Foundation. Yes, you regulars know after the break, please get on your feet and join us in the fitness segment. Even if you need to hang on to a chair, please get up and join in. And lastly, we meet the passionate Marina from Marinella, who's going to share with us some styling tips for us older ladies to help keep us looking younger and fabulous. Today on Energy for Life, we meet again Emma Watts, the director of The Daisy Chain. Now, last time Emma was on the show, she told us all about her fantastic music and movement programs that she offers throughout retirement villages, aged care and disability. Today, Emma's going to share with us a fantastic new tool to help us all when we go and visit our older loved ones. Hi Emma, welcome back to Over 50 So What, lovely to have you back. Thank you for having me again. Now we're going to be talking about something different today. Last time we talked about music and movement, moves for all, senior spectacular, but now we're going to talk about the situation which a lot of us find where we go to visit loved ones in aged care or maybe some visit someone in their own home, but it, it's hard to keep a conversation going and, and you know how do we make this a stimulating visit how, if we're going to visit, how do we make it a stimulating visit? And you have developed this um, book called Memories. Can you tell us how this came about? Of course. Um, so, as you said, when someone, uh, you know, gets older, um, you know, memory, our memory tends to go. It can be quite hard to know what to talk about, um, especially if you're saying, you know, what if what have you done this week? And the person goes, well, I haven't done anything. Um, now, this actually happened in my own family. Uh, my beautiful nan uh, developed Alzheimer's. Um, she's since passed away, but towards the end of her life, you know, her family, uh, us, would notice that she would start forgetting little things or she'd forgetting where she'd been or someone would say, what did you do yesterday? And she'd say, well, I, I didn't do anything. Um, and my mum would go and visit and say, you know, how was it when you saw Brian yesterday and she'd say oh, I haven't seen him for months and everyone would know that she had um, so they developed their own kind of communication book so it was just a way that they didn't have to put that pressure on her because it can actually be quite confronting for someone when they realize that their memory isn't working as well as it used to um, and it can actually make them uncomfortable and a little bit embarrassed and it can be a bit awkward so this this exercise book that they created was a way that they could communicate with each other to say you know, came over on Sunday, took mum out for a walk. We had an ice cream. She was in great spirit. She was feeling good. Or, you know, came over today. Mum was a little bit sad. Um, we went for a walk in the park. Um, you know, she was a little bit down. So just a way for them to communicate, not have to ring each other every time, but a way that they could um, just document their visits and, and how she was feeling. So it also served as a great conversation starter because, my mum could get there and say, oh, look, um, on Sunday you went to the park with Brian and my nan would go, oh, yes, I remember that. We had a lovely time. We had an ice cream. So a bit of a bit of a memory jogger, a bit of a conversation starter, uh, a really nice way for the family to, to be able to communicate without putting that pressure on my nan. It also, once my nan passed away, became a really nice kind of memory of you know, the last the last couple of years with her and the things that they've done as a family. So working in aged care and working with people with dementia and Alzheimer's and memory loss, I saw a need for other families going through the same thing. Um, and I'd say, 
oh, you should get an exercise book and you should start writing things down. And they go, oh, that's a great idea. So I thought, well, how can we create something that does that so people have something and it can be a really nice uh, and a really nice keepsake, a really nice conversation starter and also give back. So we uh, worked with Dementia Australia. Um, they've given their approval for the book and a dollar from the sale of each book goes to Dementia Australia. So we can actually put some money back into doing some research and funding to try and see if there's a cure, do more research um, and, and try to prevent more people getting dementia or Alzheimer's. So we created Memories, um, the daisy being because we're the daisy chain. Um, it's really simple. It's just got, you know, the date, the time, conversations, um, other comments, and then the next visit you've, you've planned. There's also some uh, really beautiful quotes in there. Uh, some blank pages that you can stick photos or you know handprints or whatever you'd like to do um, and there's basically a page per week so um, there's plenty of room for to people to write down when they visit what they do uh, how their loved one might be activities that they've done together oh that's fantastic yeah and it's helping dementia australia as well so that's yeah, another plus that's really, yeah well awesome idea emma Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of viewers will be interested in that because I do know personally myself, a lot of people struggle with conversation when yeah. they go to visit people. Yeah, and, and as I said, it you know, it's great for people in aged care. The staff are already under enough pressure uh, without having to remember everything for the residents and for their families. And they obviously have the, the medical side and the care side of things documented. Um, but this is really nice just to pop on the bookshelf um, grab it out when you go to visit your loved one and jot things down but as also as you said earlier people that still live in their own homes that might be receiving home care or have families visiting it's a really nice thing just to have at home as well so you could record that they were singing daisy daisy huh you could <laughs> <laughs> i'm not going to sing it again though <laughs> i think it's your turn now carol no because i won't tell you what my singing teacher said <laughs> what did she say she said uh carol there's one problem your voice is working against you. <laughs> That's not very nice. So I gave up singing after that. So interesting fact, we are all born with perfect pitch. It does not perfect hearing to hear the perfect pitch. <laughs> it's just whether we develop it or not from a young age, whether we are musical or not. Well, thanks so much for your time and uh, making us uh, have a bit more fun on the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We look forward to seeing you again. fitness time to get moving stand on your feet if you can doesn't matter if you've got a t-shirt on sweatshirt on whatever it is let's have some fun Fast 
Window wipers. And down. Out. Out. Okay, are we ready? Back to double to the side. Double. 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 Out. 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 With the arms. Out. Today on Living Life, we meet again fashion designer Marina Mariani from Marinella. After 25 years in the fashion business, Marina has just launched her own designer label made in Australia. And today we're going to take a closer look at how a woman can be stylish at any age. Hi Marina and welcome back to Over 50 So What? Thank you, Carol. Now, last time you were on the show, we had a bit of a chat about the fact you personalize styling for mature women that come into your store. And all your items are personalized too and sourced from Europe and maybe New York, and you're launching your own label. Now, can you tell us about the age groups that you're looking after now? I think you've got someone up to the age of 90, have you? Most of my customer is from 30. To 90. I have a couple, my regular customer, 80, 70. And believe me, some 80 looking like 60. <laughs> <laughs> so what sort of tips can you give us for styling someone that's a bit older? I think you've mentioned to me p before about, you know, women worried about their neck. Can you give us a few styling tips? For mature lady, um, I like very classy shirts with lovely pants. Now for a moment in Europe, white pants is very in in fashion and i like to do with a short top nice 
uh, the scarf around neck and finish with a lovely vest. So you've got a scarf there. Can you show us what you would do with that scarf? You see, for example, that scarf, you just put two times around your neck and it's be handmade silk painting and you do the like this and you cover that part what we always worried, you know, and look fantastic. And it's beautiful, beautiful handmade painting silk. But also what is be fantastic, you just do like that <laughs> and make you very young. <laughs> it's fabulous. Look at this. <laughs> very cute. And these scarves are having so many color, black and white, you know, depends which type of clothing you wear. And it's, it's not very nice when it's huge. It's important, it's cover that part and you play. You have the flowers for spring. <laughs> ah. I know you are going to love things like this. Things like this, you put around neck. And you have open top or also you put around your head. Most of time, I could just touch some color, you know, because when you, when you have a color, I, I'm a person who wear a lot of black, but now I start to wear, uh, to wear white. And every time when I have a jeans and my white top and some big earrings, people say, oh my God, you look amazing and young. That is things what we like to be, you know, you look young. Now I think I'm going to change a little bit of black to red, white, or with this very popular color now in Europe, mustard color. So I understand, you know, you've got the jewelry that you get from Croatia or the, over the place and you put match the jewelry with the outfit. Like for instance, with what you're wearing now, uh, you probably can't see on the screen, but you've got a, a bit of a red down here and that matches the red earrings that you've got. Very light, beautiful earrings. It's be handmade. And I have in every color, mustard, orange, because with this top, what I wear now, too much be around neck. I need just nice piece of earrings to finish styling, you know, because it look very classy. And that is my suggestion. When you have nice earrings and a little bit busy here, you don't need to have nothing around neck because it's be too much. Or little scarf, but plain color, not, you know, multicolor. Because... You need to look different, but not, not too much. You know? yeah, not too busy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the oldest customer you've styled? I had one lady, she was 95. When she came one day to my shop. She impressed me. She was looking really, really like from like French, you know, something with the hair up and very elegant. She came to my shop and asked me, can you just do styling for me? I have a boyfriend, 95 year old, and I'm going to cruise. And I said, oh my God, I was so impressed. She was so happy. She went to the cruise and come back and she said to me, you know what, Marina, I have compliment every day. You know, she said, I never have, have help in Australia, no way like what you did, because Carol, I'm doing from my heart, <laughs> really. And I like every woman in this world look beautiful you're in brighton for someone who who can't get to brighton maybe they're even in south australia are you able to do any consulting with them by zoom or remotely yes i have a customer from tasmania from perth from sunshine coast from um, you know from everywhere so what would you say to a mature woman who's stuck at home you know maybe they haven't bought much of a new wardrobe for 10 years 20 years they've been wearing the same thing and they're a bit stuck in a bit of a rut, what would you say to them? Come to my shop, talk with me, we play here, we do some outfit, change your wardrobe because it's very, very important. You change your wardrobe, you put a color, you buy new clothing because it make you very, very happy. You don't need to go to psychology. Come to the shop, when you come home, we make you happy. I said, look at this, I'm a happy person, doesn't matter how old I am, because I'll be honest with you, age is not nothing. It's just the numbers. We need to be happy, to look beautiful, to wear beautiful clothing. We must be different. <laughs> that is the point of the life. I love that philosophy about you just have to be different. You have to be unique. 
and I think I also like the fact that you know if you're having trouble with your mental health don't go to a psychologist come and visit Marina <laughs> I am here <laughs> <laughs> you know, I really have, a, in these 17 years, I must tell you something. Beautiful girls in my shop is just feed my souls, give me happiness every day, you know, and it's coming out. I have one lovely lady, she's calling me, tell me, Marina, when I put your clothing, I'm so happy, I feel so young. And she looked 15 years younger. Lovely, very nice smile on her face. For me, it's the most important thing when I see the face of my customer happy. Well, that is just beautiful. It's just so fantastic to see you so passionate about helping women to feel better about themselves. That's just so awesome. Well, I'm born in Croatia and my teacher of my life is my lovely auntie. When I was a little girl, I always liked to come to her house because she had big, big room. It's called Black Room. She had the hats, gloves bags shoes you know I, I was like you know in dream I come there and I said can I try the things and she actually make my life beautiful like this to love the clothing and still you know she's my angel she's always with me and I always said thank you auntie because she opened my eye and give me opportunity in my life to love the things like this and love the people and love to make the girls beautiful. <laughs> and I like to make every woman in this, in Melbourne, happy and beautiful. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. Wish you all the best with the uh, thing coming out of lockdown. And, and uh, thank you so much for your inspiration to make us all feel better about ourselves. Well, it's very nice to talk with you as so beautiful lady. And I hope when lockdown, down is finished you come to my shop and because uh i think i don't know i'm 63 how long i'm going to be in fashion but i hope till 80 i'll be okay <laughs> thanks a lot marina my pleasure very nice thanks for joining us if you want to grab that memories book from emma at the daisy chain just check out the details at carolohalloran.com and oh, ladies if you're looking for a styling pick me up You'll find the details for Marinella Boutique on the website. If you have any pictures or photos of you looking fabulous, we'd love to see them. Please join our Facebook group, Over 50 So What, and subscribe to YouTube, Over 50 So What. You'll never miss an episode. And if you have any styling tips for older men and women, we'd love to hear from you. As Mindful Michelle says, be Fabulous. Be you. I'm Carol. Over 50. So what? Thanks for watching our TV show. Be sure to hit subscribe and then you'll never miss an episode. Jump on Facebook, join our group, get in on the fun, fitness, wellness and inspiration. I'm Carol, over 50, so what? <laughs>